Hey, badass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business Podcast, where each episode we will walk you through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the importance of starting with a strong bookkeeping system. Listen, this one item causes more headaches for small business owners on so many levels. But today we're going to discuss the biggest pain you will have with it, but also a huge reason why you need to make this a priority in your new business. Let's get real, shall we? You love what it is that you do. You love what service you will be providing and or you love and believe in the product you plan to sell. You also more than likely are going to be living, breathing, and working in this business doing whatever it takes to sell your product or service. The vast majority of you will be the one and only employee and you will probably be spending tons of hours to do what it is you're doing to keep the business afloat. The last thing on earth that you will want to do is to sit down at the end of the day or the beginning of the day and key in receipts, track your costs, expenses, and sales. But here's the problem. You absolutely must do this. I wish I had a dollar for every small business owner that I spoke to that has had no clue on the state of their business and they are months, if not a year behind in their bookkeeping. Just this week alone, I've had coaching calls with a five-year-old business that is six months behind, an eight-year-old business that is nine months behind, and another business that is still trying to figure out last year, which by the way, was a year ago. They are making their decisions in their business based off of gut. And I'm sorry, your gut is not always right. It doesn't remember as well as you think it does. It gets close, but you end up throwing away tons of profits all of the time. Folks, you cannot make strong business decisions when you have no idea where your money is going. While you might be accidentally successful, like two of these businesses are, you will never earn the profits that you could if you were looking at your current business numbers. We found so much money and so much profit on the table just by diving in to what they've got going on. And it all starts with good bookkeeping. In the beginning, you are slower and you think you can do it manually and you will be fine. And for some of you, that is true. But soon the business starts to grow and you fall further and further behind. But it is a habit you need to start from day one to make it just part of your routine. And don't even get me started on the mess that most people have at tax time because of how unorganized they are. Let's face it, if it wasn't for taxes, some of you would never get your bookkeeping got up. In a few episodes, we will discuss taxes, and one of the biggest reasons businesses fail are due to their failure to pay taxes. But it all starts with good bookkeeping. You have to know about the flow of money through your business. So please, whatever you do, start a bookkeeping system early on. Spend 15 to 20 minutes at the beginning of each day keying in the receipts for the day prior. It is the easiest way to do this. Make it a habit. If you do, soon it'll be just like brushing your teeth every morning. Eventually, you can hire a bookkeeper. But for now, spend the 20 bucks a month and get QuickBooks online or something like that. You need some type of system that does the heavy lifting for you. While they're not easy to learn in the beginning, they actually are very easy systems and you will figure it out. As of this recording, I have not sponsored by QuickBooks. I just believe in their products. I think it is one of the easiest bookkeeping systems for beginners to learn, and especially because it all can be done online and on an app on your phone. Plus, you can do your invoicing and everything else right there and take payment. Majority of you will never need the big program that QuickBooks has. You just need the online version. So unless you have a complicated business, you don't need anything more than that. Now, there are some types of businesses that have specialized bookkeeping systems, but honestly, unless you use all their extra bells and whistles, QuickBooks Online will do just as well for you. Just connect it to your business checking account and it'll do the majority of the work. Plus, you can spit out some reports, including your profit and loss statement, which you're going to learn in our business number section is the number one report in your business. So please make this a daily or weekly priority in your business. I promise you, if you do, you will pivot your business a lot quicker and you will use real time numbers to make the decisions in your business. Business owners that watch and monitor where their money is going tend to make more money. Keep in mind, this is a profit game, not a sales game. It is about how much you keep at the end of the day, not how many hours you work creating sales that you will just give away all of the profits on. All right, so this one was a quickie. Do your research, find out which bookkeeping system you plan to use, and make sure that you get that puppy set up. You need to make it part of your daily routine. Pretty soon, we're going to dive in more into your business numbers, and you're going to understand why this is so important. I'll see you on the next episode.